Hello there everyone and welcome back. All I really have to say with last episode is I, my trash ship, now basically has the most powerful weapon in the game. I would argue at least, since after all we're able to fire black holes at will at this point, good god. And while it's hard to say how potent it is because it felt like I was having very little damage at first and then just immediately eviscerate our poor, uh, what is it, Trendle uh, transport ship we were going up against. And with that all said, we uncovered the conspiracy with the Trendles. It's not the aliens, more the machine that we're interacting with here. And while, as much as I like to have additional allies there, considering when you think of the fact that we're dealing with a gigantic galactic empire, you think more enemies, or more friends, more allies to help us uh, usurp them would be warranted. But at the end of the day, I'm going to continue to keep on looking for means to maybe free the Trendles, although... They already look like a very savage type race there. We looked at our lizard friend during those conversations, so it's possible we're just freeing them to be more corrupt or more vicious or a little more unfriendly to us. But I want to quickly find the homeworld ideal and then we are going to eventually check out the Micmac homeworld and of course the Meowlings. I'm excited to meet the Meowlings. I am hoping it's who I think it is, their godlike figure. Or like I said, I tried out all the different, at least the main ships in the skirmish mode, and Jeff, I believe his name is, their god, is amazing. I don't know how practical it is in practice, but it is amazing nonetheless. I'll explain more when we get to that. And do I need more ships? I would like more superfluids, I just don't want to waste too much time gathering resources with that said. And with that said, we are about to think my throat's tickling there. I am coming down with a cold a little bit, so I do apologize if that affects my commentary a little bit. Hell, ship, I imagine my commentary isn't all that impressive anyway again. with all this downtime. It is something I definitely need to learn there, and I'm up for the challenge, although I seriously doubt it makes this all that interesting with me trying to come up with things on the fly. I'm used to, like Battlefleet Gothic and StarCraft, just doing things as it's happening, as opposed to trying to fill time, and it does not go well for me. Hell, I imagine doing my... Battlefleet Gothic Championship Series. We didn't even get half the superfluid, mainly because I couldn't find it when I was roaming around there. But I lost my train of thought, dammit. And interestingly enough, this frigate's not going to attack me. They did task me with the quest to destroy like five of their ships. I'm just surprised they're not getting aggressive on me for whatever reason. They want me to be merciless and hunt down their ships as opposed to them engaging me. Which sounds really weird. But... Uh, my main intention is to try and save the Trendles, or the actual Trendles anyway, and deal with this Overlord or Overmine as we unlock more technology and more of the story. And what is this? I have no idea what that is. It almost looks like a spaceship. Just one I'm not familiar with. Which justifies my reason going down here. Good god, is it nice having all these resistances, even though this lava, this heat level one, seems a little bit odd. For crying out loud, I have 100% heat resistance. You figure this would be accurate to what upgrades I'm using, goddammit. Nonetheless, let's find this ship. Whatever the hell it is. Although I never did check to see if it was an unknown structure or an un unidentified object. That probably could have helped. It looks like a wrecked ship. Ooh, it's a Micmac ship, I think. Wow, Captain, this Micmac ship is Yep, wrecked. called it. Don't see any sign of the crew. Must have evacuated before it crashed. Give us the goods. The computer's still working, though. Let's see what it has to say. All will be over, mine. Oh, God. It's been corrupted. Does that mean anything to you, Captain? Yeah, we know. Oh, we... well. We'll salvage what we can. We know what that is. Ooh, enhanced thrusters. I like that. Is a question what it does, mind you, but I like that a lot. But we know who the Overmine is. Good God. We just talked to Trendles. I'm surprised it didn't have, like, any voiceover commentary based on that fact, because we just uncovered that truth like two minutes ago, for crying out loud. I'm a little bit shocked. Nonetheless, we're going to quickly try and find the Trindle homeworld, although with the Overmine, what we learned, does that really matter? We might as well for the sake of knowing where to go when we want to confront the Trindles directly, if nothing else. And we're in the neighborhood anyway, so it's warranted. I guess an easy way to tell if there's a, like, a homeworld or not is there actually be like a little arrow indicator, kind of like with the with the Taiwam and the Muke when I go to their systems. Or maybe it's because I haven't even found a homeworld yet. Only one way to find out, and it's going to take a little bit of time. But more resources, more ships we get, the better. I am just excited to build more uh, 
Lexi interceptors. Now that we got the blueprint for that from that fault. Not the fault, but the Lexi facility we happened upon haphazardly. I'm really excited about that. That was an amazing ship there and I squandered its use. It's fair. It's trace of mobi- What is it? What am I trying to say? I forget now. Its mobility and long range is pretty much astounding. At least in comparison to Taiwan when I originally got the Lexite Interceptor. Ooh, this is a Trendle ship, is it? Or it's a Trendle facility at least, so I'm interested to see what that's all about. If it's a ship, that probably be good. We have a nice diverse uh, fleet. I just can't quite remember what the Trendle ship is. I think it's a Speed Burst and a Bola that my Hearing Interceptor has access to. That we use to murder the poor angels that... I've only recently come to realize we can actually communicate too, so I feel like a dick in that regard. Scraps of a trandal ship. No, we here, can't Captain. salvage it. That big slash mark on the hull looks like it was made by a scribe cutting Ooh, to me. Unpleasant. No signs of the crew. Maybe they evacuated before it crashed. No, it was that over mine. This thing went down, but it looks like we're the first ones to find it. Ooh, we'll spoils. Take what we can. I imagine Overmind doesn't care. Ooh, overdrive. That sounds interesting. I don't think the Overmind cares about the crew all that much. I want to argue at least, they seem more interested, or it seems more interested, in the ships themselves. If I were to be so honest. But I think we're done here. We got what, four more systems to check out? Five more. I'm kind of more tempted to go check out the Mechnac territory. But I want to at least find a homeworld to at least know where to go for future visits here. Since we are gonna want to pay him a visit. We're detecting a distress call. Oh. It's faint. Only one planet to check though. Well, it makes our job easy. What the hell is this? Oh, that's a trendle, is it? Or is it blockading the planet? Protagonator. I could fire Will, I'm not going to. Hello again. Yeah, he wants to shoot you, don't you? Unless you change your mind. At least this way I can at least fe feel a little reassured since it is their choice. And no, I'm not I don't want their upgrades. Especially when we know what we're getting ourselves into. No, have you? You can accept upgrades. Turn off your overworked Turn brains. No. Oh. Well, it's a, it didn't seem like I could end the discussion anyway. Unless I were to accept the dang... Oh, there's two ships in this too, so I, I've got to be careful. And I believe this is the frigate with the speed boost in BOA. Which is what I talked about earlier. Thinking I could have salvaged that ship. This one I do not know. What would be fun to play with? Speed, like I said, this thing has speed booster and Mukei would probably be really bad against that. Never mind the fact it's Boa's really short range. So longer range is key. I like the Taiwam for this to a fake extent. Let's see. Oh, you got a Boa. You got a slow bolt. So instead of speed boost, you, you slow me down. This will be interesting. It's going to be tricky to hit you though, since the turrets are a little... Wow, was that thing automatically aimed at me? I don't recall you. Oh, never mind. I take that back. I just don't want to get hit by that for obvious reasons. Since it slows me down. Ow. Never mind. I'm about to die if I'm if I stay here and fight. Not what I want at all. Although it is about dead. Ow. Still took a little bit of the slow bolt hits, but thankfully I don't think they really do a whole lot of damage. I just lost half my dang health though. And that thing is scary for that reason. It's got a bola laser on as well. And we've seen how effective that is when I was fighting the angels. It's going to do the exact same thing if I do this wrong. Yeesh, that was close. Ow, that was painful. We're about to die. Oh god, it's chasing me. Whew, victory. A little more costly than I like, because I'm rather fond of the Taiwan Cruiser. I just hate how short range its main gun is now, after it got nerfed. Which probably emphasizes why I liked it so much, huh? Now what is this? A distress signal. It's, interestingly enough, another Trendle ship. So I wonder what happens here. And also, if there's a distress call, there's probably a lot of threats. 40 unknown entities. Yeah, they don't look friendly, do they? Although we could cheat mechanics a little bit. Gravity is on our side. Do I really want to fight 40 of them just to make this safe? Probably not. Can I cheat this in any way? 
I can sort of cheat it. It's going to take an eternity to do this, though, and I don't want to do that. At least this little low ground crevice is kind of convenient. Yeah, there's like no challenge here, almost. What the hell's that loud humming, though? That was obnoxiously loud. Yeah, this doesn't really involve a lot of challenge there. It's just sheer numbers and the fact that it shoots directly at me. Alright, we'll get there eventually. We'll see what this distress call is. And why does there have to be so many of these dang resources that are only like two or three at a time? God damn it. I was hoping for a lot of wealth and I'm not getting it. Now, before I pop up, yeah, that thing's gonna shoot me as soon as I poke my head out, isn't it? Well, that's convenient. I think there may be an element of auto tracking there to an extent. Looks like a crashed Trandall ship. Yep, Captain. what happened? Found the bridge. The computer still works. Looks like these guys were fleeing over mine. Fleeing over mine. They hid their ship here. Looks like they thought the planet was more habitable than it was. They all died when their life support systems gave out. Poor little guys. Oh well, we'll salvage. Well, what I we guess can. some of the Trendles tried to get away from the overmine. Interestingly enough, so there is some kind of mind control going on to some extent, if I want to argue. So it's not much of a distress signal. I thought we were going to save some Trendles here. Oh well, look at all those resources we could grab. Is it worth the resources? Well, considering the fact all of them are all in low ground, you could it almost looks like a Sonic race course to an extent, or bonus Chaos Admiral level. What is it? Chaos Admiral, I mean. From Sonic Mania and all those other games, you just do this path, and you ideally be pretty safe, since it's all low ground from what it looks like. Probably a little too much of a pain for such little resources. But it sounds like fun though if I had time to commit to it. Preferably without getting my uh, lander destroyed. That would be the catch. <laughs> oh, excuse me there. Now, we have four more plants to look out for. Ooh, we got another trade station here outpost. This is interesting. I don't have much uh, biomass to There's kind of bend. Radioactivity coming from the system. Can't tell which world though. Radioactivity, huh? So we got Trendles, we got this trade outpost, which is being... Don't ask me how it's safe from the overmine. That makes absolutely no sense to me. And we got ourselves some radiation of emission from something. It's nice of you to contribute to the team, though. I just don't know what exactly it's supposed to mean when you could, when you let us know of certain events. That's the only thing I'm a little bit wondering. Curious. S since otherwise my sensors that detect anomalies is probably a little more consistent or a little more effective otherwise. Oh, I'm not even going the right way, am I? Where is... Oh, I don't know where it is anymore. I've gone too far. I'm completely lost in the circular plant. Oh, there we go. Now I'm upside down, too. Just getting better and better, isn't it? Thankfully, getting flipped over does not mean instant death for me. We got... The humans were smart enough, or at least the engineers of this land were smart enough to put some... What is it? Thrusters of right myself. Here, what is it? Looks like a mining camp with a bunch of sleeping uh -oh. robots. In that it. sounds like trouble. I guess these robots harvested all these resources and then shut down to wait for their masters. Who was it? The, who the progenitors? Or was it the precursors? We should take the resources and not ask too many hard questions. Can you get in there safely? Okay, it turns out the answer is yes. Yes, we should. Oh boy. Heavy dump fire missiles. So we're getting more and more good stuff here. I just don't know how useful it is. Like, heavy dump fire missiles, probably not very useful for the Terran soul. If I were to be so honest, since we can fire literal black holes now at people. It's just a matter of figuring out how to get the most out of it. Greetings, welcome to the outpost ship. So let's do some shopping. <clears throat> While I clear, well, attempt to clear my throat. <clears> throat> Now we could sell the drones there for 40 resources. I think that was a little bit more than what I'm used to, is it? And I'm just curious. I need to see what all the stuff is before I sell it. I just want to make sure is there any some exotic stuff that I want to keep. Nope, looks like we're in the clear. And I might, might as well sell the hypersonic nuke. Well, I don't need to yet since I'm now I'm nowhere close to the resources I need to get that extra fuel tank. Or really big upgrades. 
The sprinter? That's some- oh yeah. You are a really big bonus to our maneuverability. I might as well grab it. Especially now that the Terran Soul is capable of really putting up a fight now. And that just leaves us with two of those uh, regular Kavak accelerators, is it? What else? Not too much else to grab. And you're gonna take a while to build, since we just bought some stuff too. Was there anything else I need to grab here? I don't think there honestly was. I pretty much got everything I could. I'm just trying to remember what specifically is available from here. I think we got every... Oh, overdrive. Ooh, it's... Oh, it is a hyperdrive. So, I gotta remember not to sell the cuddle drive. Note to self, do not do something stupid again. But we will accept this additional power. <clears throat> so, now when I go back to Earth... I'll be able to benefit off that. And I thought I would have two of those. I guess I didn't. And I'm... There. I'll sell the crew cores and I want to make use of the lander stun shot. I'll, I'll probably sw swap it out once we get access to a Mark III like... The toxic filter. So that way I get myself a free slot. Otherwise, what do I don't like? Devastator. My voice is starting to break because it's dang cold. I'm liking it less and less. <clears throat> But, I am excited for a lot of this, like the Shinath Destroyer, I don't know how useful it is. Apparently, okay, there it is. And I would like to get Alexa Interceptor, which thankfully, the Taiwam is kind of crippled. So we can easily throw that in there. Do I have the points? Yes, I do. With a few more spare. What costs six points, if anything, for that matter? The measured response is really damn close. The transport, of course it had to be the transport. The one thing I don't care for. I just again wish I could salvage it to put it to better use. Since having it as part of the fleet's probably kind of pointless. If I were to argue. Oh well, it may get the last laugh someday. Because for crying out loud, the Terran Soul, the tr junk ship, the trash ship everyone has been mocking, is now the most powerful ship in the galaxy, or at least this sector of space I want to argue. Who's laughing now? And why am I coming down here again? Oh, there was an anomaly. I got... I was too excited by the fact I could shoot literal black holes now. And of course phasers, which apparently can destroy the majority of projectiles. Maybe not all of them though, but I don't think I need to tell you how powerful that is to literally destroy the... Shoot down my opponent's weapons. There is an anomaly here, right? I didn't come down here for nothing. I'm trying to look and see. Am I an idiot and decide to come here for no reason? I think I came down here for no reason, is there? Yeah, there's absolutely nothing here. I'm an idiot. Oh, maybe that's the wrong planet, I think. Oh, it's... Yeah, I was at the wrong planet, that's why. So I'm not so much an idiot, I was just not paying attention very well. That's what it comes down to. And that looks like a Sontar. I don't think I need another one. So let's go say hi to the Trendles and Firewell, get this out of the way, maybe at least they'll be friendly to us until we can free the Trendles themselves. I I did check, that was a Trendle, Hello right? Again. Okay, just had to be sure. No, no. Now there's three ships this time, they're getting growing in numbers. Now what's the best way to fight this? Heavy tracking plasma, that sounds good, but since we've seen speed boosts, I need something solid. Maybe the Lexi Interceptor, since if they're close range centric, we know when they're going to shoot at me. I just hate sacrificing my poor Lexi. My poor Lexi Interceptor. It's working out well, though. Oh boy. Don't you dare try and get at me. I'm g Let's see how you like it. I miss this ship. I just gotta be really good about that shield generator to make use of it, especially especially with that speed boost maneuver. And if I can outlast its generators, that'd be pretty good. I am getting hit, it's not much of one. Okay, maybe this is not as exciting as a fight as I make it sound, but once I learn the nuances of how much, well really, I gotta pay attention to their energy bar, since that speed boost is burning a good amount of it. So if I can capitalize on that, that'd be pretty good. 
Also, while I need to keep in my eye on my own energy reserves when I activate my shield. Catch me if you can. Oh, he is trying to catch me. Well, that worked out well. I did take damage, though. Very minor, considering how fragile this thing is. So I think that was a very successful test. Maybe not the best dogfighting, though, since I was just drifting and shooting more often than not. But it would be fun otherwise. Which I just gotta learn when I can be aggressive by paying attention to how much energy to have. And more importantly, how much energy to actually need to shoot at me. That's kind of important too. If I want to really get the most out of that interceptor. And there's a lot of ships here. Does that mean this is the home world? No indication to say state otherwise. Yep, lots of Trenzel ships here. We are getting resources off them, and apparently no anomaly. So I might just avoid them for now. We'll see. Yeah, there's no anomaly at all. They're just patrolling the planets for some reason, though. I might take on one of them there, at least. Oh, we are... Uh, yeah, we, I think that was one of the ships I just fought. And that should leave, what, three more fleets for us to engage? Or at least this would be a surf fleet. I don't know if I want to play something that's big and bulky though. Something mobile is kind of key. What do I have that's actually mobile with that said? I did use the Taiwan and it almost died. The Lexite feels like a bit of a glass can, doesn't it? But the potential, if I can use this thing properly, is amazing. We'll use the Hyrian. Take eat it. Well, that was easy. I don't even think I moved one inch. I just pointed and shoot it and it worked out well. That was good damage there. There goes half your health. Oh god. Well, that worked out well. I got freaked out by that point defense. And then I realized point defense take a ridiculous amount of energy. I don't know about the phasers on the Terran Soul, mind you, but that is quite a drain if I use it properly, especially when you consider it shooting down three projectiles at once, which I think makes it drain even more energy. So safe to say, the Lexite Interceptor is a little more superior in at least taking the hits. I'm, uh, I'm hoping anyway. Is there no anomaly at all? Nope, nothing at all here. So we're done with this plan already, or this system. I was hoping to find a homeworld I could be found wanting. Since there's only one system left. And if there's no homeworld there, then what am I going to do? It just demonstrates that they're a bit like locusts, I guess. They just completely eradicate the plan of all po What is it? All life, possibly. Beta Corvus X. What the heck are you? Why are you X? I want to know. You were not a colony, that's for sure. Not a trendal wreck. Well, more wrecks the better, I suppose. Especially since it's beginning us more than other just ships, at least. Although I would like to add a Trendle Frigate to my roster. Since I am kind of well used to the BOA because of the Hearing Interceptor, at least. It's just its mobility and speed boost I need to get acclimated to. Got a wrecked Trandle ship here. Found some of the Trandles up here on the bridge. Oh, they're still alive. Well, what's left of them? Never mind. A lot of spear wounds here. I wonder if they pissed off the locals. <laughs> oh well, we'll salvage what we can. Where are the locals anyway? A laser boa, so I could put down the Terran Soul too, which is kind of amusing. I don't know. Hmm, black hole generator or boa laser? Hmm, I think we already know what I'm gonna choose. Can you blame me? I just need to use the damn Terran Soul more so I can get that figured out. But that's good. Where the hell is the homeworld? I'm starting to suspect there's no actual homeworld. Since there's no anomalies in these other planets. Anywhere at all, interestingly. Unless that's it, Beta Corvus A. It doesn't sound like a homeworld name. Fire at will, I guess. This should maybe be the last one. Two ships. Hyrian. Ooh, actually, we'll try the Fuson. I think it has enough mobility. Uh, and... It has a short range weapon, I just don't know how much more power- oh god. I was gonna say, I don't just don't know how much more powerful the single short- was it? The single shot short range weapon is. 
in power compared to the dual shot. Dual shot seems a lot more superior if I were to be so honest. Because how is that menacing? Oh god. Slow bolts. Eat it. Eat it good. The Fusan does not let us down. Now, did I murder enough of these innocent Trendles? Well, apparently not, if I have to guess. Unless it's somewhere in the ejectors tab. Kills only several, so that's not helpful at all. I don't want to murder innocent Trendles that are being slaves, but... They at least found peace. There may be nothing innocent about the Trendles, remember. They look like they can be... They're potentially a fairy savage type... Savage, rather, type of race. And I should probably talk to him after I kill this last one, or this last group. And see if they're willing to change their tune. Otherwise, Lexite, you come on back out. I want to have more fun with you. Jesus. You really don't want to fight me, do you? Yeah, that burns a lot of energy if I wait too long. If I hold it down too much. But it works. It really works. The potential of this Lexi Interceptor can be amazing if I do it right. I just don't want to get shot by anything because, again, it's a glass cannon, too. It's like playing Eldar in Battlefleet Gothic. Damn it! And that it justifies it some. I was hoping my shield would have held, and I guess not. Poor thing. It was doing so well, too. I want to, I really do want to play the Destroyer, but it sounds like something that's big and bulky. Hell, its turn rating is not the most impressive either. So I'm worried about doing that. Kyrian, you you won't let me down. You're basically MVP for the past few missions. As demonstrated. One more time, though. Oh god, Planet Crasher. Come on. Well, your speed boost makes it difficult for you to hit. But I got superior firepower. Now, next time I run into them, the Trendles, I may want to talk to them, see if they want to enter an alliance or not. Otherwise, I could end over my threat right now. If I destroy all their ships, for crying out loud. Reduce their territory by a significant margin. Make it so the Trendles don't even have any territory, since apparently, again, they have no homeworld. I could theoretically do that. I don't like the concept. And this looks like another, this looks like the same ship with the bread people, is it? Crazy looking alien ship here, Captain. This ship feels ancient. Half buried in soil, been here thousands of years at least. The Trendles didn't Maybe care longer. for it. The aliens who flew this must have been massive. All the rooms and controls are meters off the ground. A ship also, full of giants. For some reason, there's a lot of plush, plush carpeting. Really? Weird. Comfy, but weird. We'll <laughs> see what we can How big are the ship. chairs? A rapid laser. Interesting. That sounds appealing. I don't think I care for it again. What is it? A, a torpedo fires black holes or a rapid fire laser? I don't need to tell you what my decision is already. But seriously. We checked potentially every single plant, and we found no homeworld. I don't know what to think anymore. And unless there's something I don't know. Where the hell would the Trendles be hiding in that case? This will be the last one. Okay. They are happy now? You cut through my husks with greater speed than even the scribe. See? We're not trash ships after all. Happy to be of service. We're sorry we had to do it. Your husks are kind, but effective. I wonder if you have an overmind of your own directing you. Well, you're not entirely I have wrong. Updated my calculations on optimal spread patterns uh -oh. for overmind. Overmind will align its interests with you. This will leave you in the unupgraded state your husks seem to desire. We will work together to defeat the Scrive and turn them into Overmind. Well, I don't know about going that far, but I'm not a huge fan of the second part. So long as a lot of them die. I'm not a huge fan of the second part. You don't have to be. You will not trust me. 
But you do not have to trust me. You have to defeat the Scrive. This I can help with. All will be overmined eventually. But for now, you will not. We are friends now. Don't look so sad. Too late. I feel like I just made a horrible decision, didn't I? I'm still gonna have to look for some way to free the Trendles, if there's a possibility there. Since there was some ridiculous uh, stuff you could do in Star Control 2, I think. As far as like freeing races, hell, the Churm, I remember the Churm. They were like a race that was de-evolved, that you basically had to re-evolve if you want them to help you fight against the, the antagonist of the story, basically. I think, from how I'm remembering it. Let's see, what does our alliance concern, though? Yes. What exactly does an ally mean? Well, why the hell do I ask for technology? They've been trying to give me technology. And now I think you that's enough question. Want to talk, allied husks? We'll just be going. I, will, I am curious okay. about your homeworld, though. Overmind is great and very admirable. You don't want to tell us where your homeworld is, you alas. Still want to talk. Okay, allied host. Well, at least I have... Wait, what's going on? Why are we firing at Hello Will? Again, allied husk. Okay, allied husk. Uh, this is a little... Uh, I don't know how I feel about that if I have to hail them every time to get out. It's because I saw an option to fire at Will, that's all I know. It doesn't seem reassuring. Ooh, there's a lot of ships up there in this derelict space. I wonder what's going on up there. Chances are it might be a lot of scribe, because good god, there's a ton of ships. Speaking of which, didn't I learn about another faction in this area? The Trendles were talking about them. Maybe this is another alien race. It definitely looks like it. Oh my god. Who are you people? Sh there's a lot of them, so we clearly are in our race. A Griok. Let's say hi. See if they're friendly. In English, please. We can't understand you. Oh no, they're gonna attack me now. Well, I was excited to say hello, but that quickly changed in a hurry. Hmm. What do I have no idea what the I actually that's wrong. I know what the ship's capable of. It's actually a swarm if I remember correctly. What would be a good choice though? As much as I I'm gonna try a destroyer. Oh. So you're literally the dang Minox cannon, are you? That's all that that tracking plasma is quite literally the Minox, the cannon, I think, from Star Control 1. Well, that was easy enough to kill. Thankfully. No so one can talk to those space fish, Captain. But I've always thought that there were patterns in their singing. I think we might be able to rig up a translation system if we can gather some more data. If we could get in three more conversations Ooh. with them, that should be enough. That should be difficult at all. It just means we're probably gonna have to kill more of them, isn't it? Ooh, and what? Ooh, a rainbow planet! I want to visit this. Wait, what? Keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah, to you too. I wish I could into. I wish I could speak fluent singing or whatever their language would be. Oh, it is singing. It is actually singing now. Now, if only you would stop trying to kill us. That would be kind of nice. I need to redeem myself after killing a bunch of Trendles, after all. But I think the ship's pretty good at dealing with the swarm, so long as I keep firing my Minoc bolt. I'm pretty certain that's what the dang race was called. The only difference is their blast grew in power the further away they were. Wait, really? Is this Rainbow World actually their home world, or at least one of their planets? Well, it's an easy way to kind of farm 
the knowledge I need. I was hoping to explore a dang rainbow plant. You're not helping me. Oh, you got a repulsor too, interestingly. Well, wow, that's really easy, isn't it? I just gotta point at them and they die. So, Ancient One, I wanna go to this planet. You're not letting me. I wanna go visit the damn rainbow plant. There's a damn achievement for this, too. Can you talk normally now? You! You who swim and sing with the tentacle killers, you will die! Aww. The tentacle killers? Are you talking about the Muke? In the blue ships with the hateful tentacles. In their song, they sing the name Muke. They kill our kind without mercy. Muke, how could you? Dare bring them to our home? To our cradle? Now we will kill you. Oh boy. Why? What have you done, Muke? Are you the entire reason why we're getting our ass beat right now? Although that's not true, we're getting free resources out of this. And I'm having fun with this destroyer for that reason alone, but... If nothing else, it'll redeem me for- oh god. I took only one point of damage, so that worked out well. Muke, Muke, Muke. Old, new, whatever, mech mac. What the- what the hell? Old, new, new, whatever, Micmac. Captain, we've received a message from the Micmac homeworld. Apparently due to Space Beast-related circumstances, they have had to relocate. We can now find them in the Beta Link system. What, really? What? They told me where their homeworld is. I'm really confused what just happened. I didn't... I was going in here not even assuming or thinking there was a Micmac homeworld. So I'm caught completely off guard. There was an anomaly here, right? Yeah, there is. So let's at least salvage whatever they left behind. Each their poor plant got murdered. Come to real, come to think of it, the Mech Mac homeworld is right next to a rainbow plant for crying out loud. Which is a really important world. Oh wait, Captain, we've received a message from the Mech Mac homeworld. Apparently, due to space beast related circumstances, they have had to relocate. We can now find oh, okay. them in the beta link system. So. The beak, I guess that was what was giving us that message there. Alright, Muke, you have some explaining to do here. More bad news, Captain. The scribe have just taken control of the 61 Sydney A system, which means we're getting closer to Earth. And Tywomia, for that matter. You do not need to worry, we got this on lockdown. Although, yeah, so it is an entire alien race. The Greek Ox. They got themselves a nice little bit of territory here. Although, now we have to figure out this dang issue they're having. What planet did they just, uh, conquer? <clears throat> oh, there it is. So we're gonna have to deal with the scribe pretty damn soon, it looks like. Since they are pushing really close to the Muke homeworld, and I don't like that one little bit. I guess we'll go back to their homeworld some point soon. At least they're not attacking me now, which is kind of nice. I wonder... If I were to talk to one of the ships, what would happen? They probably would tell me they don't like the Muke. Nope. We'll find out about that later. Pure resistance, degenerate matter, and toxic. And a ship we don't... well, I don't care about the Javelin. Captain, we've just received a mysterious message from someone calling themselves the Free Trandals. Huh. They say they have something to discuss with us in the Beta Lavoran system. Weird. Interesting. Beta Lavoro? Where the hell is that? I was all the way over there too for crying out loud and I saw nothing. So that probably just unlocked from doing becoming allies with the Trendles there. I am intrigued, this is what I'm looking for, but let's see what they have to say. Hear our song, metal vessel. Your cacophonous kind is not welcome here. Aww. Stop now and sing your intentions. We're seeking allies. Let's see. Just doing normal Fessily things. <laughs> Who are you? Let's learn about them, since they're not going to blow us up just yet. We are Grigrox. You have entered the Ancient One Exclusion Zone. Metal vessels are not permitted here. Yeesh. That's a strict and possibly racist policy, isn't it? What is the Ancient One, though? Oh, that's their homeworld, isn't it? The Ancient One is our home. 
our cradle, our best friend. Oh. You will swim nowhere near him. Well, I kind of already did that. And they were not happy about it, to be fair. Tell us about yourself. No. Well, sing to us about yourself. Do not mock us, Metal Vessel. Where do you come from? Oh, we already asked that, I think. Yeah, we, it's about the Ancient One. You, how does that work? How do you work? You are the strange one here, Metal Vessel. I suppose that's true. He got me there. We exist in the plural. Before memory begins, Greek rocks could only feed around certain vents on the surface of the Ancient One. We lived in clusters. A Greek rocks could not survive alone. As our song grew stronger, we grew past these limitations. We could carry food with us. We could leave the surface of the Ancient One. But we were still Greek rocks. We traveled in schools. It is our way. Ooh, they look like jellyfish too. School of fish there, but... They look like jellyfish. Like it's almost mesmerizing a little bit. I like it. What do you eat, though? Small amounts of methane leak from vents on the ancient one. Okay, so the rainbow He's world. Got that and other organic compounds that occur naturally on his surface. So I wonder, is all their colonies bit rainbow worlds in that case? Then that would be interesting. That all their territories almost exclusively rainbow worlds. At least that they have habitat that they inhabit. <laughs> Of course you do. Yeesh. Don't be so bitter. I'm just curious about you. <laughs> we'll be going now. Swim carefully, metal vessel. Well, at least they're not attacking me now, so we're making progress. Which makes me wonder why they attack they attacked me to begin with when I didn't understand them. But this was a pleasant surprise. I would like to figure out what the hell did Dang was it Muke been up to? But we're no we're nowhere near a Dang space station to kind of teleport back until I make my way back down to Monitor Deep Space Station. So that we'll have to wait. We got Meowlings to say hi to. We got the Mechmac Homeworld. We still got a lot of little things to do here. But the world is starting to open up for me, and I'm excited. 